Hey guys, how are you doing? Seems like the community is a bit divided on this matter. Some people say some break it's being fresh and some others don't. Looking at it objectively, it may seem like it's being fresh because some break was announced in October and so far we just know about three monsters. At least for what they have shown in the official page. This feeling may also come in mind that perhaps Rise didn't meet the expectations or people left the game quite fast due to the lack of challenge or because everyone makes the comparison between World and Rise. Obviously going from this a gorgeous looking game to this a cool game is not going to sit well among the masses, that's a fact. Also being a Switch exclusive doesn't help too much. But now let's try to make some predictions with what we already know, shall we? Let's suppose that after the release, Capcom started working on the new updates and monsters. In a span of two months, we received around seeds. Now, this is a stretching perhaps a bit too far, because, well, the game was released in March, but due to logistics and stuff like that, I would guess at least one month prior to being launched, it was already done. Let's say that they took a little vacation and assume that they once start working on July, going at a rate of two monsters per month and taking into consideration that for some reason they had vacations in December, which in my understanding doesn't precisely happen in Japan. If there is a Japanese person in my audience, let me know. That gives us 26 monsters in an optimal scenario, of course. Now, in world, according to IGN, the base game had 31 large monsters and Niceborn Capcom added 24. Seems like the math adds up. Of course, just adding content in that way for the pure pleasure of adding it is not going to go really well. I expect to have something similar like in World where there is a slight difference in movesets from G rank to high rank. Giving an example of this, Uragan in high rank rolls all over the place, but that's it. However, in G rank, while it rolls, there is a trace of fire, changing a bit the flow of the battle, or at least for me as a lance player, it changed. This is pure speculation from my side, but perhaps Capcom is collecting data from players attempting the Super Apex, and those one shot cards. This could lead to have that mechanic in Sunbreak, which, in the opinion of some people, it's a cheap adjustment, but personally, I don't really mind. Obviously, with all of this, there's going to be some more maps, weapons, story, and stuff all over the place. I don't know. At least for me, it looks like this is achievable. They don't have to create everything from scratch, so focusing it on the monsters and the extra stuff sounds good. About the price, I guess it's going to be about 40 bucks like in Iceborne, unless they didn't achieve their original goals from Rise and end up charging 60. Once again, this is pure speculation. All we can do is have fun for the time being and cross fingers for the best case scenario. I hope I am wrong and end up giving us much more content at a reasonable price. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.